A stay-at-home order hasn't stopped people from staying in shape. Runners are converging on city parks to get their laps in. But pushing yourself to the limit may not be a good idea with a viral outbreak. Too little exercise is certainly bad, but it sounds like too much exercise can also potentially be harmful. Nine health expert Dr. Coley says putting your body in a stress response state from things like long distance running could actually weaken your immune system. It's the open window hypothesis, which means that basically for several hours, they think about three to 72 hours. And some people say, you know, even a few days after intense or vigorous exercise, the body is in an immunosuppressed state. So the immune system's function is actually turned down. Which could make it harder for the body to fight off COVID-19. The World Health Organization is recommending 150 minutes of moderate intensity a week or 75 minutes of intense physical activity. Dr. Coley says if you're training for, say, a marathon, it's important to limit duration. So the sweet spot of exercise is really doing exercise in such a way that you're not subjecting your body to go into that stress response. And that's going to be a little different for every person. It's also important to stay at least six feet away from someone next to you. COVID-19 can spread through respiratory droplets from heavy breathing. If you're running in a crowded space with somebody running just a few feet ahead of you, they're probably breathing a little faster than usual. And that creates a little bit of a cloud, so to speak. And those respiratory droplets are heavy, so they're not going to last in the air for hours but they could certainly last in the air for minutes. And so if you're running right behind them, you could potentially run into their cloud and potentially expose yourself. For Take Care, I'm John Glasgow.